Well, it's the next morning, and I've finished the doing the tuning, so custom AAC needle with 530 motor oil in the dash pot, uh, obviously fully rebuilt and adjusted timing, so all this has been optimized. Uh, idle is about 15 to 1 air fuel ratio, or lambda 1.01 or something, so very efficient at idle. And I'm going to do a cold start today, and just checking the temperature, it's... 41 Fahrenheit, you know, the engine's cold, everything's cold, um, so I'm going to go ahead and do a cold start on this. And since it's running a very lean, efficient idle, I'm going to use full choke to start this, but this will be a first cold start. So once you've optimized ignition and everything's good to go, these cars start very easily in the cold. So I noticed on hard accelerations that this car would go into the 0.7 range, uh, way too much fueling. And I tried changing out the dash pot oil down to a 530 weight, but it was still too rich. So I went ahead and investigated and it looks like someone had fitted a yellow spring. So I'm gonna go ahead and fit the standard red spring and see if I can improve the acceleration enrichment. I'm hoping to get it somewhere in the upper eights. I think that would be a, a good place for this car. Although before I go on the test drive, I am going to check to see uh, what kind of flow restrictions are in this air filter housing. Uh, he does have a k and element, but I'm worried that this may actually be a restriction. So I'm going to go ahead and test this before I go for the drive because I may end up changing the needle slightly or uh, adding holes along the perimeter here to increase airflow. I switched from the AEM needle that I put in there to an AAC and then modified for three to 5,000 RPMs. I also ended up switching dash pot oil uh, from the ATF down to a 530, but I think it sounds pretty good now. So I'm gonna fit a uh, k and air filter housing onto here. The stock plastic unit was too restrictive, so I'll get that fitted and then go for a test drive. Well, after custom profiling the needle, a second time after my last test drive, I need a bit more fuel at the top end. And I also had to change the curve in this distributor because I had too much advance at idle. But anyway, uh, I think it's running pretty well now. So, another example of how clean these cars can run. This is running just lean of 14.7 to 1 air fuel ratio, the stoichiometric, it's even probably more like 15 to 1, and we're at 950 RPMs approximately, and uh, the thing just sounds great. But this is proof that with a rebuilt carb and tuning, you can have a very efficient idle, very clean idle, and this will pass any emissions test right now. Alrighty, well this is Matt. Matt's the owner of the uh, wonderful red car here that I've been working on. And uh, I just wanted to ask Matt, what uh, what was this car like when you brought it to me? So I've always loved this car. We've had it for a lot of years and it was, you know, getting slower and slower like we all were with age. So the acceleration was not great. The braking was a little bit off. You could feel things just not working in harmony together. Mm -hmm. And so it was not as much fun to drive as when I originally got it. Great. Well, I'm glad you brought it to me because there was plenty to do to yes, it. So sounds like it. I'm going to go ahead and send you out and see what you think of the car. And when you come back, we'll uh, see what you think. Fantastic. I'm interested. All right, Matt. All right, well, Matt's back from his drive. And uh, what do you think? The difference is night and day. It's... Um, you know, the acceleration, the driving, the smoothness of it is as good as it's ever been since I've owned it. Uh, the brakes feel catchy and smooth and don't, you know, I'm not jamming the pedal anymore to get the car to stop. Uh, it drives like a, like I've always wanted it to drive. Excellent. And uh, what do you think of all the tuning work and the service that I've provided? It's been fantastic. I mean, it is, I've taken it to, to other folks here in Colorado and 
you know, they've never returned it to me in this kind of shape. It's never been given back and I drive it and I'm like, wow, that's a night and day difference. And this clearly is a night and day difference. Excellent. Well, I'm glad you could bring it out to me and uh, hopefully I'm going to see it again for future services. You absolutely will. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks again, Matt. You got it.